Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to record a video blog today about a uh, really simple methodology, a hack if you will, uh, that'll really help you to find products in Israel if you are here and you're looking to buy something. Okay, so the inspiration for this, this is something I've been doing for many, many years and there is, you know, some, sometimes we have these little daily hacks or tricks that really help us out and we just kind of assume everybody knows about them. Uh, so I told a friend about this last night and he did not know about it so I thought I may as well pass on the tip. Um, second inspiration for this, so somebody posted a question in uh, one of the Facebook groups today. They said, um, I have an air conditioning remote, a Mazgan remote. If you're in Israel, you know what a Mazgan is. And he said, I'm looking for a, how do I find local suppliers? I, it broke down, I want to buy another one. I think it's generally a good idea to have a spare Mazgan remote on hand for this reason. So this is actually a perfect uh, example, if you will, uh, to show how you'd go about finding it. So what this is uh, using this little trick I've been using, it's something called Google Advanced Operator. So almost everybody or probably realistically everybody who owns a computer is very familiar with typing search queries into Google. So there's something called Google Advanced Search Operators and those just kind of allow you to uh, take your Google searching game to the next level and do more advanced things. Um, there's documentation online, I'll put a link in the description uh, if you wanna know exactly everything you can do. There's not a ton of them, they use something called Boolean operators uh, that you can combine and it's a really, really good thing to know. Um, but the one I'm gonna talk about today is called SITE. It's S-I-T-E for SITE colon. And what this does is you can combine a search keyword. So let's say for the sake of argument, the keyword we we're searching for is uh, remote control. So if I just type in remote control, those two keywords into a Google search, um, I'm gonna be getting you know, searches from um, all different websites around the world. But there is a way, um, and that's using the site operator, to limit the results you're going to get to a website that has a certain pattern, either a specific website. So if I wanted to do remote control site daniel.com, that uh, search would call up only, um, only pages on daniel.com for remote control. Now, how does this relate to searching for stuff in Israel? So um, Israeli websites, uh, one, there's a couple of ways you can search for products in Israel. One of them is uh, just you know typing into Google in Hebrew, you'll probably find Israeli results. Another one is uh, clicking on the shopping tab that shows up uh, when you type a product into Google and you can click on a button that'll, re that'll reduce the results to Israel. If you search for it, another, you can also look on a website called Zap, zap.co.al. Now what Zap is, it's a, a comparison marketplace and it's going to link off to Israeli websites. So if I put in, let's take it because I'm big into cameras and video stuff, if I put in the product name of a camera I want to buy or a webcam and I want to see what prices I can get in Israel, I could either just go on to zap.co.il or type in, let's say, Canon Vixia HFR800 and then uh, put in Zap and then I'd get the, if there is a page on Zap for that product, uh, I'd get it in Google and then I can look at the different prices in the different stores, I can see who's got the best price, I can see what price difference, etc., etc. So that's how a Zap works, really useful website to bookmark if you're living in Israel. Um, but let me just jump back to the, uh, to the kind of workaround hack, which is the site trick. So, you want, so Israeli websites, um, especially commerce stores, tend to have Israeli domain names. Now, that's the uh, thing that comes after the domain name. So for instance, dot com, everybody's familiar with dot com. In tech jargon, that's called a TLD or a top level domain. The official TLD for Israel is dot co dot il, Israelis say dot co, neku dot co, neku dot il. Uh, typically, but there's also different ones. There's .gov.il, which is used by government websites. There's .org.il, uh, which is used, it's the Israeli equivalent of a .org. There's .muni.il, there's .edu.il, there's different ones. So um, if you do site.co.il after your search term, you're going to get results for a product uh, that, is, that is going to appear on every .co.il. What I actually recommend doing is site.il. And the reason that is better is because you're going to get results from 
.co.il.org. In other words, any website that has an Israeli domain, it's going to return. Whereas if you just do site co.il, you're only going to get results from .co.il websites, but that search keyword will miss out on if the website happens to be .org.il, etc. So this little trick, let's just take my remote control, uh, which I have here just to use an example. If I put this into Google and then append after that site ill, I'll only get uh, product listings from Israel. And I found this a really, really useful uh, hack, if you will, if I'm looking to buy something and I want to narrow the results down to just Israeli stores, you can use this and you'll get results only from within Israel. Speaking about good resources for Israel, I had a conversation earlier in the week uh, with um, Aaron who runs aliyamoneytips.com. If you're looking for financial advice in Israel, I am not the person to go to in under absolutely any circumstance. Um, but I really, really believe I put these videos up on YouTube explaining little things I want to pass on. And I do so because I truly believe that um, as a community of immigrants in Israel, we are stronger together than we are apart. It's not, uh, we're not in competition with one another. Uh, we're all helping one another out and we're also all uh, helping or can help the next generation of immigrants, Olim Chadashim, to Israel out. Uh, so I was very impressed with this website. He's a uh, financial wizard. Uh, so if you're looking for, um, you know, uh, financial related advice in English, check out aliamoneytips.com. He's got a couple of um, little things I've been able to contribute on YouTube about converting, um, using Google Sheets to convert for salaries between dollars and shekels. Aaron kindly added that to his resource, which is how he got in touch. Uh, but it's a really good website, so I definitely uh, check that out if you're looking for more resources on how to have a successful Aliyah experience in Israel. Hope this video was of use to somebody. Until next time, thanks for watching.